Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, new bike? Yes, sir. Just found it on Facebook Marketplace. What do you think? It looks great. We got a ride later. How fast does it go? How fast does it go? I don't know. However fast I can pedal it, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying you have to pedal it? Yeah, it's a bike. Right, right. So when you pedal it, that's just for show, right? There's a couple kilowatts of pedal assist? Mm, no, no. You just pedal it like a bike. Oh, so we're talking acoustic. Yeah, if you want to call it that. You still trying to ride later? <sighs> later? Mm. Yeah, you were just saying we should ride later. Mm, no. First, we need to figure out this whole pedal situation. Yeah. So believe it or not, I actually love acoustic bikes. This is my beast mode and I'm gonna put in some work on it. love this bike. It's basically designed for wheelies, but because of that, it has a couple shortcomings for daily riding. For example, it only has one gear, which means it really struggles on any hills or incline. It's got no suspension, so it's really only comfortable to ride on a perfectly flat street. It's only got one brake, which is constantly overheating, and it's not electric, so you have no choice but to pedal. But it is street legal. So in this video, I'm on a mission to build the best street legal e-bike conversion that improves on these shortcomings. To start, I got this used mountain bike and it's actually super nice. It's a specialized and that makes my job a lot easier. It's already got dual suspension, dual hydraulic disc brakes, an SLX one by 12 gear system and a dropper post, which is so cool. Check this out. I also love the color, kind of matches the other bike. Let's go ahead, take it for a spin. It is so light, I feel like I'm riding nothing. I know as a fact that didn't look as big as it felt, but I'm not a mountain biker, I'm trying my best. All right, let's test how this bike wheelies in its acoustic form. It's really not meant for wheelies like the SE bike is. For example, the bars are much lower on this. So it's not as comfortable, I'm assuming, but let's see if it pops. Oh, there we go. Oh, it wheelies. Every bike wheelies. You just need a rear brake. Let's test a quick top speed run here. I'm really gonna pump, come on. Oh, I dropped my phone. You know what? That's not too bad. 18 miles an hour, top speed. Now this uh, hill climb is two miles away. There is no way I'm pedaling all the way there. This is the move. So you might recognize this hill from almost every video I make. I always hit it on something electric, but today let's see how the acoustic bike does on it. Oh no. Okay, round two. Let's see it. Oh my God, I'm already tired. I haven't even gotten to the hill yet. Oh. Try three. Let's get it. No one. Okay. So, this is pathetic. Yeah. Let's see you guys pop it up. What's up? You guys British? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, whereabouts? Yeah, are you guys just visiting? What's up, man? Yeah. This bike is amazing. It's feather light, the suspension is dialed, the brakes are flawless, and having the gears is a huge improvement over my beast mode. But there's still two shortcomings. It's not electric, and it's dirty. So let's change that. So first up, I'm using my charged all-purpose cleaner to hit the really grimy spots, and I'm using a soft brush to make sure I don't miss anything. 
Next, I'm applying my charged waterless wash to clean, polish, and protect my rims before applying my charged tire cleaner directly to the tire. This stuff is so powerful, you want to avoid using it directly on anodized rims. With my charged waterless wash, I'm going over the whole bike for a quick clean and polish before applying a coat of my charged ceramic sealant for long-term protection. To celebrate my launch of Charged PEV, I'm giving away my 72 volt Suron. Every dollar on the website is an entry into the giveaway, and if you try the bundle, you earn a bonus of 500 entries into the giveaway. The link is in the description. Good luck, let's carry on. Now that I've cleaned the bike, it's time to electrify it. I wanted this conversion to be something anyone can do, which means going with a kit. And from my research, by far, the best kits for this come from Psych Motor. They've got everything from 700 to 7,000 watt kits. The kits are light, compact, and powerful. So I reached out to Psych Motor about this project and they were happy to help. So massive shout out to Psych Motor for supporting this channel. To power the Psych Motor, I need a small battery that fits in the frame. And from my research, my best option came from Bicycle Motorworks. So I also reached out to them and they were happy to support this project. So massive shout out to Bicycle Motorworks. They make batteries in all shapes and sizes for DIY projects just like this. We've got everything we need. Let's start this conversion. I had to get a little creative with this setup, but it worked. And it only took me about one minute before I realized I need specialty tools to remove the bottom bracket. So I had to take it to my local bike shop. Best $10 I ever spent. Now it's time to throw on the photon motor, grease up my shaft, and slide it in. Now the crank arms, pedals, chain, throttle, and display. Here's me testing it for the first time. Whoa, let's go. I love when it works the first time. I removed the screws from the frame, added a layer of foam, and taped on the battery. The bike looks amazing. It almost doesn't even look electric. And I know that's kind of ridiculous to say because there's a battery taped right in the middle, but the motor, it's so small and well integrated, you hardly notice it. And I would even argue for the battery, it's about as low key as you can get without hiding it in the frame somehow. I chose the Photon Motor from Psych Motor because it's their most compact option and because it's 750 watts, which makes this bike entirely street legal. I also chose the Photon Motor because it's a mid-drive, which improves off-road performance in every way over a hub drive motor. Besides removing the bottom bracket on this bike, the installation was super easy and their tutorial video is really well made. This 52 volt 12 amp hour battery from Bicycle Motorworks is the perfect size for this project and the build quality seems super high. There's endless mounting options for this battery. I decided to go with two rolls of tape, which turned out surprisingly nice. The Photon Motor comes with a display that's very similar to the Egg Rider display you see on upgraded Surons, and I love these displays. They're small, capable, and it's where you control your power level, as well as reading your battery percentage, motor temperature, that kind of stuff. I also went with the optional thumb throttle to minimize my pedaling. Before I take the bike out, I've got something kind of special planned. A couple weeks ago, I was tagged in a post where this kid was building a replica of my Suron out of basically cardboard and tape with the goal of making it fully operational. So I reached out to him to say what a great job he's doing and he said, thanks. Basically, I can't buy a Suron, so I thought I would make one myself. And I think that is the best mindset ever and I want to support that passion. So after getting approval from his dad, I'm on my way to hook him up with some parts. What's up, Ben? Pleasure to meet you in person. That literally looks exactly like my bike. Look at you! No way! That is so impressive that you did that. I had high expectations coming into this, but I'm blown away. box of goodies here. Thanks. How big though are we talking? This is so stressful. Okay. 
hey, the bike is converted. We've got the photon motor, 52 volt battery. I'm gonna turn it on and put it into mode one. Let's see how this rides. Wow, this is so smooth. All right, I'm going into mode three. Only throttle. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so much better than pedaling. <laughs> So this is the Psych Motor 750 watt kit, which is actually their lowest power kit, but that's because it's street legal. So this is 700 watts. In my next video, I'm gonna do a 7,000 watt Psych Motor build on another bike. And the pedal assist is really nice. And I've never said that. And that's because on most bikes with pedal assist, it's just pedal activated. So you start pedaling and it'll start assisting. Whereas on this, it's torque activated. So if you pedal hard, it'll assist hard. If you pedal soft, it'll assist soft. So it's a really natural tune. I love it. Smokes any other uh, pedal assist bike away that I've tried. It just, you don't notice that it's pedal assist. You just feel super strong. So right now I'm in the highest power mode, but I'm pedaling really soft. So I'm going slowly. But if I start pedaling harder, now it really starts kicking in. So natural, you don't even think about it. Send. Oh no! Oh, you okay? Yeah. You good? Yeah. I'm good too. That was kind of cool. Oh no. Whoa! No, I cracked the display. Damn. Oh no, and I popped the rear brake thing off. Okay, I got a little boo-boo and the display screen is cracked. That shuttering isn't in real life, that's just on camera. So the display still works, it's just cracked. And then the cap for my rear brake fell off and it's now leaking. So unfortunately that means I can't try any wheelies today, which was really, I was really excited to do some wheelies on it, but we can still hit the dirt. But before we hit the dirt, let's do a top speed run. Yeah! <laughs> That's street legal, baby. <laughs> 28.3 miles per hour. Let's go. That's exactly, except for the 0.3, that is exactly street legal limit. So you can ride this on the street as fast as they'll let you, which is awesome. Oh, he knows what's up. Nice bike, brother. Oh, thank you. L little electric action going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You trying to race? <laughs> it has the same way. Ready? Let's see it. <laughs> All right, I let him win. Let's say I let him win. This is so nice. Last time we came here, I had to make Sawyer tow me because it was too much pedaling. But now I'm just flying without pedaling at all. Oh, this bike is so quiet. You literally cannot hear it at all. All you hear is the tires rolling over the dirt. I don't need to lift it, but I'm just gonna show you how light this bike is. You can just pick it up and walk it around. Okay, we're back at the hill that embarrassed me three times at the beginning of this video. It's way steeper than it looks on camera. So let's see how the electric converted bike does on it. So my hypothesis is that I still won't get to the top of this hill, but I'll get way higher on it. Let's see. Let's go. Whoa, let's go. The bike kept wanting to go. It's actually so steep. I geared it too low. It's really not even a matter of the motor, it's just me. Oh, you know, it's got the power to get up, I'm just not committing to it. In this video, I took a used mountain bike, cleaned it up, 
and converted it to electric. This is the best street legal electric mountain bike conversion I've seen. So massive thank you to Bicycle Motorworks and Psych Motor for supporting this project. Their links will be in the description. And last but not least, check out my new brand, Charge PEV, to be entered into my 72 volt Saron giveaway. As always, thank you so much for watching. As I do! Yeah.